Um, what's really troubling is that we discovered that a lot of the equipment that's being sold on the market now to replace old, outdated uh, systems is built on operating systems that are also very soon to be outdated. So there's a lot of counties and states that are spending a lot of money for new systems, and in a very short few months, those new systems are going to be on software that's end of life and no longer going to be receiving security updates against known threats. Older software um, can have known exploits where there are certain types of ways to hack into the system that can be um, published on the internet. Anybody with a minimal amount of cybersecurity expertise can find them and exploit those systems. Um, and the newer software is patched and secure against what how, ways that we know to get in. So we want to make sure that what our voting systems are being built on is the most secure software that is patched and secure against known ways to break it. But the best way to secure our elections is to have paper ballots for all voters and to do post-election audits of those elections. And most of the country does have paper ballots. There are some states and counties that still need to move to paper ballots, and they can do that before 2020. And we can try and get uh, meaningful post-election audits uh, across the country before 2020. I think we need uh, stronger oversight from the federal government, more engagement. Um, with computer security experts at the Election Assistance Commission to give better advice and guidance to counties and states as they're procuring their systems, help raise the overall level of knowledge, and give more funding to the state and counties so that they can hire people who have a greater awareness of cybersecurity issues. Uh, the, the federal government appropriated $380 million to the states to buy new equipment in the last uh, legislative session. But it's really not enough to deal with the scope of this problem, which is a nothing less than a national security crisis. So we need to have more funding for the states. It was really just a down payment. But as we spend that money, we want to spend it wisely on secure systems. We, we have time to address a lot of these problems, and there's a lot being done. Uh, so voters should definitely make sure that they get out and vote. and um, and petition to get their elections checked with a, a hand-marked paper ballot and post-election on it. Um, I think there's blame to go around in a couple of different places. The vendors have been selling equipment um, without a lot of scrutiny. There's been very little oversight, so um, they could be selling equipment that they're saying is based on new secure software that really isn't built on the newest and most secure software. Um, we also have state and local uh, jurisdictions that are under-resourced, they don't have enough money, they don't have cybersecurity experts, computer security experts on staff to know that this is something that they should be looking for. They're relying on assistance from the federal government, and the federal government really uh, should have been scrutinizing this much closer.